All right, guys. I'm gonna give you a quick video here. You know, I like my videos. I think they kind of show you a little bit more than just the average text or message or comments. So, try to give you guys some decent video here. Had to work for a little while on my day off today, so just got in a little bit ago. Um, tried to warm up a little bit before I started this video. Gonna be honest. Haven't really been throwing the greatest tonight, but uh, hopefully with the video on, maybe that'll change. So we'll start out with the bags. You can pretty much see, I've, I've not really gotten to play with them a whole lot since I've gotten them. Uh, a couple days, just for a few hours. And like you guys said, uh, straight, straight out the box they felt broke in felt fantastic uh, material feels very good very easy to find any type of grip you want with it whatever you want to do doesn't matter very easy to find a grip with it so <clears throat> I got a feeling they are definitely gonna be some hole friendly bags whenever I get them really good and broke in no doubt about it but uh, I like them. I like the graphic. Uh, my daughter and my wife and all of them extremely approve of the graphics. One of the main reasons why I got them, because I wanted the main reason why I got that graphic. Main reason I got the bag is because I love your guys' bags and I wanted to see what this one was like. And it had the uh, speed rating that I thought I really liked for a lot of our conditions around here. Five, eight, um, seems to always play really well so I'll get to chunking some bags up and down the board try some different stuff uh, hopefully it don't look too ugly but hopefully you guys can see a lot of different angles of how the bag plays these here are uh, my boys T Wade he got his in he's been throwing them a little bit uh, I love them I love that graphic these feel great uh, knuckles are gonna be dangerous absolutely dangerous I know my boy he threw the prototypes that you guys sent us and uh, he could do whatever he wanted to with them dominated everybody else with them just felt great in his hands and he could control them any way he wanted to with his uh, throw style and hitting air mills for days with them <clears throat> so Without bugging you guys too much more, I'm going to get to throw on the 10X, all different things. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm just going to throw, let the bags do the talking. Better start. <clears throat> All right. We're going to go slow side now.
Okay, so as you can see, slow side is slower. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't really give you guys the temperature humidity on the day. We're in the shop, of course the lab. We're sitting at 87 degrees, 25% humidity. Uh, so the boards are tacky, playing medium speed, like not real aggressive, slow. Uh, just about right for a hard thrower. And then outside all day today, it's been 100 degrees, you know, 90 plus percent humidity. But like usual, the shop's a little more comfortable, a little bit more bearable. But the boards are tackier, so it's slow side. And you don't quite get up the board as smoothly as what you'd like to, but perfect for trying to lay in that block. So that was on the slow side, I'm looking at that five speed. Seems like the speeds play pretty true here in Arkansas to what you guys said, eight, five, eight, five, eight, five. Um, but still moves up the board smooth, material and everything. Doesn't give you a whole lot of kick. If you lob it high, you might, you might get that little slow rotation kick, just right off, slide you right off to the left or right. So, but that's, could be with anything. Alright, so just for fun on this one, coming back towards the camera, I'm going to see if I can throw some air mills, sticky side down first, two of them, then I'll go slick side down on the last two. Well, they weren't all clean air mills. The last two with the slick side ended up going through just smooth.
guys. You guys may not be able to see this if I raise the board up past the camera, but we'll try. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, another success, hopefully here pretty soon. Maybe if not me, uh, you start seeing these bags out there on the ACL circuit this season. I'd really like to see people throwing them on the ACL circuit and start laying in some of that ESPN spotlight. Good luck, guys, thanks.